couple people fucking died while we were away. Jesus Christ. You know, but people are in shock about it. And I'm like, hey, guys, they were fucking old. James Conn was 82 years old. It was time for James to go. And it was uh, Paulie Walnuts who was 79. God bless his soul. Fucking great character. Funny guy. Stand-up guy. Listen, guys, I never really knew him. Like some guy said to me today, hey, man, I'm sorry about Paulie Walnuts. I was like... I didn't know him. You know, I, I met him one time. Uh, we were shooting the Soprano movie, and he was there. And I said, hello. Cool. Yeah, he was very cool. He was already older, you know. We talked for maybe two minutes. I'd love to tell you I was friends with him, and we hung out, and I did time with him, but that's not what happened. Then James Caan, fuck. And you know what's crazy about James Caan, man? I was noticing last week, like, we have a short memory as fucking Americans. We really do have a short fucking memory. Like, it's like we dismiss you. It was like when the fucking Cosby's, when, uh, when, uh, you know, Cosby got in trouble. You know, nobody remembered how he fucking fired Lisa Bonet for doing a fucking sex scene, that fucking filthy hypocrite. Never mind all the rapes and all that shit. He was a fucking hypocrite all the way through. But anyway... (laughs) What we talk? He talks shit on people talking. Yeah, he's he's a fucking uh, he's out of his fucking mind. But that that's that's not the fucking point. We always forget about you know things with people, projects that they did. When James Conn died, everybody was talking about the Godfather and misery. Listen, I love James Conn, the Godfather. Don't get me wrong, but if you really want to see a James Conn movie. And guys, I love The Thief. I think that's one of my top five movies. I love everything about James Conn, that movie. But you motherfuckers forget Brian's song. Huh? Remember? Anybody? I'll wait, motherfuckers. Nobody remembers Brian's song. It's about fucking a black football player played by Billy D. Williams and James Conn. I think he played Rocky Blythe. Don't fucking quote me on this shit. That movie, I saw that movie when I was like eight. Dog, I cried for a fucking week. I'm I'm gonna cry just thinking about the fucking movie. It was such a great fucking movie in the 70s. Way before The Godfather. He did that movie. It stayed with me for a couple fucking days for different reasons. And you guys know I love movies. This shit they're making today. This ain't fucking movies no more. I was somewhere the other day watching commercial. Like, my daughter's like, look, Dad, the commercial for Thor. And I'm like, that doesn't look good at all. Like, it just doesn't It just doesn't look good. Like, who the fuck? You know, you go see a movie now, and you fucking leave. And go, like, I saw the Adam Sandler movie on uh, on Netflix. I forgot I saw it. There are so many movies. The last two years, I just watch a movie and it blows by you. And then you watch like series like The Wire or something and you're like, okay, this is good fucking television. But cinema, cinema has gone to the fucking wolves, guys. And, you know, they don't make movies that you go, wow, I got Before I see another movie, I got to think about what I just fucking saw. I got to think about that scene and the acting. You know, Brian's song is, is about a Pittsburgh two Pittsburgh football players. And I don't know who, I forget. It's been a long time, guys. I don't know who was dying of cancer. One of them was dying of cancer, and the other one was his friend. For all you motherfuckers that love to cause racism problems between black and white, watch that fucking movie. Watch that fucking movie. And like I said, I cried for a fucking week. When he died in that movie, you fucking cry. I mean, I didn't know anything about that. It got me into football. It got me into so many things. So, yeah, The Thief was good. Fucking Godfather's great. Forget about Misery. He's fucking great in Misery. But as far as an acting movie that, Jesus, it fucked up my childhood. I, I got to be honest with you, just thinking about it. I'm like, God damn, that movie fucked me up for like a year because it was the first time and I, like I had lost my dad. But it's, that movie was so good. I don't know how to explain this to you. It made you experience a loss. Like, after that movie, you're like, fuck, I'm beat up. And again, some people are like, you know what? I don't want to see that type of movie, Joey. No, a lot of people don't. But you got to watch it because it's definitely up there with the fucking the great movies of our fucking time. But check out Brian's song. Rest in peace to my man James Caan. And to, even like Paulie. Like, everybody said, oh, Paulie just, fuck. 
Paulie did a movie with Jan Michael Vincent when I was a kid. I don't know. And I remembered Paulie from that. And then I remember seeing him in like Goodfellas and a couple of other fucking things. But uh, I go back with Paulie, like not friendship wise, but I go back with Paulie as a fan to maybe like the 80s. I think that was probably one. If you look. That's probably one of his first projects when he got out of fucking jail. He was in jail or whatever. And that's why he was an inspiration to me, too. Anybody who does some time and does something with their life, I got to tip my hat out to him because you have no fucking idea how tough it is to put it together when you got out of a fucking joint. But anyway, what I want to talk to you guys today was about fucking, you know, I, I... I look at this podcast, I look at the church, and I look at what we've done over the years, and I really don't talk a lot about social shit. And it's not because I don't want to talk about it or because it's a hot potato. I got to be honest with you. I don't know much about it. I, I, I don't know much about it. When you're focusing, when you're a fuck up like me, and you want to focus on who's got money, <clears throat> you know, who. I remember when I knew, like when I do the album of the week and all that shit for Patreon, you know, I, it's people are like, hey, man, you know some weird stuff about music because I was a loser. Because I was a loser for years, and I read Cream Magazine and Rolling Stone, and, you know, I read all that shit, which, in the in the end of it, at the end of the day, it don't do dick for you. It's just a bunch of worthless information. When you go get a job, nobody's going to ask you where fucking Randy Rhodes was born. Nobody's going to say to you, what kind of guitar did Tony Iommi play, you know? Nobody's going to ask you what drum kit fucking Taylor used. You know, it doesn't matter, but we, as Americans... We want to be embroiled with all this social consciousness. And I love it. I love that you want to do it. I will look at some podcasts and I go, I don't even know how that person knows about those topics. How do they find time to read up on all that shit? Like my whole journey since I started the podcasting and doing all this shit was how to get myself to be better. Me watching TV or a trial isn't going to make me a better person. I never watched the OJ trial. I never watched the Amber Heard trial. I wouldn't watch that if you fucking paid me. I, I could, t- you could have watched that trial dubbed. Like I could have turned it off, and I could have done the fucking. I could have tell you what they did to each other. They shit on a bed. That's Hollywood. That's the Hollywood dirt merchants. All the money in the world can't buy fucking class. And you people are in shock. You people are like, oh my god, they they live these these people are the nastiest motherfuckers you've ever met in your life because they're so rich they've forgotten how to do things for themselves whether it's cut their toenails whether it's clean a fucking toilet you know i take a shit and when i take a shit i fuck up those fucking toilets you know what who cleans those toilets me my wife tells me you better clean that fucking shit toilet those people have never shit it they never clean the toilet so their reality is fucking so gone guys